Well done! You've reached the end of the course. You were able throughout this course to build this platformer game using the Quintus game engine. So by now you should or I hope you are familiar with the basics of this library and on the basics of making a platformer game like this simple game. The goals of this course were to give you a quick overview of the Quintus HTML5 game framework. You learned how to create levels using tiled, how to work with sprite sheets, and the basic dynamics and game mechanics of a platformer game. Some collision detection events, some uh, artificial intelligence for the enemies, and by that I mean the enemies that can say detect where the edge of the cliff is and turn around, or the enemies that can float around in a certain range. We are very social, so find us on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, and you can get access to a lot of videos, including videos from our premium courses. So you can check them out, see if you like the kind of the style of the course before you enroll in it. And also we run these development communities, the Game Dev Academy, the Hive, and the Spanish-speaking site, the Idea A App. Some of our other courses, we have courses on mobile applications on mobile games, on different game frameworks including Quintus, Phaser, Lime.js, also we have a course that doesn't use any game framework at all, at all so you can learn how to work directly, directly with the canvas, and we have um, courses on coding and programming for children as well. We have really a lot of courses so just go to zenba.com and you'll find them all there. Thank you so much for watching, for taking this course. I really hope that you found it useful and that you liked it and look forward to seeing you again on another course.